Morning guys, I'm at the box nice and early because I got a massage at half nine, then I gotta go and meet JC to get some more work done. And today I'm working out with Dave, the guy who owns the box, and he is an absolute weapon. And all I've said is like, let's include some rope climbs. So I'm gonna get this down me and then I'm gonna get in and find out what the situation is. Ah! Ah! This man has just ruined my day and made it at the same time. So we're doing, all I said was like, let's do something with rope climbs. And today's actual class looked a little like this. And all Dave's done is changed the wall balls and double unders, taken them out for GHD sit-ups and rope climbs. So what we're gonna do is 40 GHD sit-ups followed by five clean and jerks at 70 kg, followed by six rope climbs. And then we're gonna go 30 GHDs, 10 clean and jerks with the same weight, and it's gonna be four rope climbs, 20, 15, two rope climbs. It's gonna to be tough at 70 kg, because 70 kg is a tough, tough jerk for me. Uh, but I'm gonna try and do it as push jerks as well instead of doing split jerks. So, might be a bit of a, a timely one, but we'll get it done. That's what I was expecting. Dave, ports. It sucked. This is bad as it looks. That was wank. Right, I'm back. And I have an accomplice now. John, I don't even need to ask you what you're playing. What is it? What's it called? Dynasty Warriors? Dynasty Warriors. So I've got into a new game called Kami 2, which is like a... It's a bit like origami, but you have like you have to turn the whole page one kind of. You just check it out. It's called Kami Two, and John's into it. This is the this is how different we are in the gaming world. That's what I'm playing, and John's playing something called Dynasty Warriors, which I can only describe as it's a bit like chaos. Yeah, it's just chaos. He was like, look at this, and the first scene, he runs out as a guy and basically kicks the crap out of about a hundred guys in about four seconds. So. Drop the car off, we're now going to walk in, find a lovely little coffee spot and get a load of our admin work done. Good start really. John got the video up, which yeah, has gone up right now. I edited a little vlog to go up on Facebook and Instagram, which is up, and you should have, obviously, obviously, if you're hardcore fans, you should have already seen it. It was a badass workout from this morning with Dave, and now we're gonna go and get Anandos, because that is just standard. And Dinos. Every single day in life should include Anandos. Battling on with a keypad for one hand. <laughs> and, with hair. and the craziest mop of hair I think so I've ever wash seen. It. I got Rose to wash it for me yesterday. It's getting so long, man. It's, just it's like, like, but it's got to get down to the like. Yeah. I remember when I used to think that my hair was huge in comparison to yours. Yours, yours is that. kind of like. No, I do that. Mine doesn't go anywhere now. It kind of almost needs to be greasy so it doesn't go so crazy. That's why I'm just gonna leave it in the hat. 
You may be self-conscious now. Oh man. my god. Oh my god. How can you be self-conscious these to this? I'm joking. <laughs> so we're just working away on the plans and we've decided to go, you know what? We're Scrap it and start from scratch. We're making, we're making a new one. We're actually decided to turn around and go, because when we first originally started writing these plans, we were training in such a different way, weren't we? And it, and it definitely works. The hypertrophy and strength training plans, awesome. But because we're doing something a completely different way for us now, yeah, we're like, you know what? We're going to give you an insight into that. So you're going to get like a full extra plan of different stuff. Just, you know, why, why wouldn't we want to make more work for ourselves? Just for shits and gigs. Just do it. Showtime. That's what I just shared on Instagram stories, and it is utter mayhem. Let's do it. That's more than enough for one day. Now I need to get some food quickly. Going to have some breakfast, a little bit croaky this morning. I got my oats and raisins and coffee, and then I'm off to the box for. I'm gonna go and do the class this morning, and then I might do some snatches afterwards with one of my mates or a couple of my mates who are gonna be down there, and then uh, yeah, just crack on with the day. All right, breakfast was wonderful, but I didn't drink my coffee because I was sat there answering comments on the video from last night, which were lovely. So thank you very much. If you're gonna comment on this, be just as nice. That'd be fantastic. But that does mean I've got to walk down to Carly's gym to pick up the car for the box because we have only got one car at the moment. So we are working in it and we are making it happen. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a coffee on the way. I'm going to treat myself. You know what? I haven't had a coffee this morning. Got to work out. I've got to get a coffee. All right, let's get on the road. So I've already made my first massive mistake of the day. I've got shorts on and it's bloody freezing this morning. So yeah, everyone's looking at me just to say, what the bloody hell's wrong with you? It's not like you've even got massive muscular legs to show off. It's all right, it'll be fine. There it is, sports fans. My favorite Starbucks. All is right with the world right now. Got the car, let's go over to the box. Today has just got off to an absolute blinder of a day. Just had a call from the clinic people, that sounds so wrong, the sports clinic people, and they've had a cancellation, which means I can have an MRI today at five minutes past 12, which means we can get the ball rolling and see what is going on. Um, I'm hoping it's not too early, to be honest, um, because the guy when I was away said I had an MRI uh, three weeks in once the healing started. I'm Monday, I'm not quite two weeks in yet. Uh, let's see what they say. Also, if you think it's weird, which is quite understandable, that I've always got no t-shirt on at the moment, or the same t-shirt on, it's because I try not to move this cast around as much as I can or this sling. So once I'm in or out, I try and stay in or out for as long as I can. If I wasn't already ready to train enough, the guys have put on, them two have put on the new fittest on earth, which, if you, can, if you don't want to train watching that, you got something wrong with you. What's up guys? I thought I'd pop in and just give you a heads up of what's going on. We're just warming up because we're obviously we're doing the descending sets and reps and the ascending in weight. Here I am, I'm just doing a warm up set on 80. Done about 10 reps just to kind of get my body moving, keeping my back nice and straight. I'm really happy with my deadlifts to be honest. So that was a nice little start for me. 
And then I went into my first proper working set, 10 reps at 100 kilos. To be honest, it was probably a little bit light without sounding cocky, but I'm trying to do the double overhand grip here, which, you know, from a bodybuilder's perspective, I've always turned around and done the reverse grip or the switch grip. So it's nice to kind of be hitting those weights and feeling quite comfortable with double overhand grip. And that was quite wonderfully easy. And I'm here I am just walking around. Hey, everybody, did you see how heavy that was? Yes, I moved it quite easily. No, I'm actually just trying to read the board, but I can't see anything with my squinty little eyes. Let's move through it a little bit faster now. Went up to 120 for eight reps. Main thing here is I'm still double overhand grip, back still nice and straight, keeping my head up, so I'm happy with that. And then we went straight into the six reps at 140. This is where my thoracic region, which is got kind of quite poor, starts to disappear on me a little bit, but still managing to hold it. There's no discomfort in my lower back, so I'm not too worried at the moment. And then we're going down to two reps. I think it was at, oh, four reps actually at 150, so I was happy with that. Then two reps at 160, and then the big boy, which I was really happy with, moved 180 for one rep at the end, which is the easiest I've ever lifted 180, so I'm absolutely over the moon. Oh yeah! And then we went straight into the final bit of the workout, 100 kilos on the bar, and it was 15 deadlifts, followed by... 30 wall ball throws at 9 kg and then it was a 400 meter run which obviously I'll disappear you won't see me do that and then it was basically max effort ground down ups basically which is the burpee without the jump um, and you had a six minute time cap and wherever you got on the first six minutes you stopped counted the reps in terms of the up, down ups and then you started again straight on the deadlifts I went out on this first round way way too fast bearing in mind that there was five rounds and ended up doing like 32 down ups, which was great. But again, I need to learn a hell of a lot with with pacing and that kind of stuff. So I slowed it down and what I ended up doing was working to almost a five minute time cap, getting 12 down ups in and then I was giving myself a full minutes break. So then when I went back into the deadlifts, I felt a little bit more recovered. In total, I think my down ups, I got 94 down ups in five rounds. So. Yeah, have a little bit of a time lapse, see me slowly melt away, and I'll catch up with you in a bit, guys. Hey guys, so we are... It's hard holding it with this hand. So we are on our way, I say we because Leon is driving me, to go and have my MRI. Um, I'm about a week early on this, so I don't know if I'm too early, but they booked in, they said let's do it. So we're gonna go, and it involves me basically, if I'm right, if this is what an MRI is. Is it the one where you lay in the tube? You don't have to have it's any in it, and, it's, and it does like Yeah, so when you lay in the I look at it as like a giant donut that you have to go through. Yeah. <laughs> and it all whirls around, and you've got to make sure you have no metal in your body, which and no, me, I don't. And you have to do it completely naked. Do I? No. No, but it'd be funny if you did. I it'd care. be great content. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going in that thing behind you, Leon. Oh, yeah? MRI it like, unit. It looks like something from some sort of alien invasion movie. You're going there. X-ray. To get. <laughs> <laughs> MRI is all done. It's like being in a giant test tube that is super close to your face. And I actually almost fell asleep. They had a bit of a magic on Leon. Oh, no Love way. a bit Love of magic. A bit of magic FM. Best radio station. <laughs> God, we're getting old. Um, so they'll find out about those results tonight um, and hopefully put me with a specialist and I can find out what is going on. Why I've hijacked John's camera because annoyingly, I think that's the problem sometimes because I don't always just do time lapses because it's harder for you guys and girls out there to actually see the workouts. Just go over the screen, filming loads of bits where I just leave the camera running for like 10 15 minutes. Apparently it kills the battery. So, just a recap. The workout was awesome today, I was so happy. I haven't done heavy deadlifts in a long while. And I was saying to one of the guys that I don't actually class any of my one rep maxes before starting at the box really that valid because a lot of them were bro lifts and I wasn't really setting myself or lifting correctly. And my one rep max was 197.5 kg on a deadlift. And 180 is one of those ones, because it's like four plates each side, it's always like a hard, hard psychological one. And I lifted that today, which was amazing, heaviest rep I'd done. And it felt, I'm gonna say it, it felt quite comfortable, which is awesome. Then done some snatching with my mate Matt, and then I've just been obviously with John, as you've just seen. I'm now home, I need to eat, because I haven't eaten for like three or four hours, and I'm absolutely 
darling hungry right now. It's going to be chicken and veg, something really boring, I'm sure. And then um, I need to edit this vlog. So, I'm going to end it right now. Thank you all so much for watching. It's always such a pleasure creating content for you all and for ourselves. It's so nice to look back. Your comments, support for John at the moment has been unbelievable, so thank you so much. It's a rough time for him. He's dealing with it incredibly. And yeah, just keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you all so much, guys. If you're loving the vlogs, let us know exactly why below, and we will be back. You've got a brand new video coming tomorrow, which we're really excited for. We went to work with the army officers, or train with them, and it was, uh, it was interesting. So look forward to that. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you soon.